Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and a Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading, July 29th to August 4th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are going to jump right into it. Okay, so uh, the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Pisces, is going to be the Knight of Swords, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here, we do have the Empress card. Afterwards is going to be the positive aspect of the week, we do have the Nine of Wands, and then the last one is going to be the uh, guidance that Tara is offering to you guys, and we do have the King of Swords. So uh, it looks like that you will have to deal with rather quite of a, a bruisy person uh, in a sense of that um, it's, it's like a, a thing that you do have in between, in between each other. It could be your co-worker, you know, it could be a friend, it could be anyone, it could be your brother or, or you know, your father or your sister, that is. The thing is that this person is rather bruisy because they want to know how you stand, you know, they want to know are you going to be with them or are you going to cooperate with them or this kind of stuff and um, or you are going to go separate ways so it, it's like this person will want to know like i said how you stand while in the same time you ain't gonna be ready with your answer and the problem is going to be to postpone time all right so that is going to be the whole thing um, it could be the very worst thing that I can think of here is that you do have a loan taken, you know, from a credit company and now this credit company is bothering you all the time asking when you're gonna pay back, all right? That is the worst thing that I can think of how that reading is going to manifest for, uh, for itself. But let's run the cards one more time and then we're going to uh, scrutinize the reading itself. So Knight of Swords, it is the topic of the week, followed by the next one, which is the challenges here. We do have the Empress. Then it's going to be the positive aspect of the Nine of Wands. And the last one is going to be the King of Swords, which is the Guidance. Okay, so Knight of Swords, as we said, quite a very courageous and as well, unfortunately, bruisy person, someone who is unwilling to see different points of view, unwilling to see different, you know, a different standpoints. I, I, and there is no point for you to try to um, convince them into something, all right, because the Knight of Swords see only one truth, their truth, and there is nothing that can sway them back. So uh, just to give you an example here, let's say that that is a suitor of yours that wants to be with you in a relationship so much, but not that you don't want to be with them, it is just there is something different that obstructs you. For example, let's say that you do have a child that you don't know how this child is going to accept this new person in your life. So you need some time to prepare your child, you know, for, for this endeavor, but this person doesn't want to hear it. They don't understand it. I mean, they 
they think, well, how does the child can stand in between, you know, in between us? If you do want to be with me and I want to be with you, so what the hell? I mean, it's just, it's just simple. Well, the point is that this person, it's, it's unwilling or un incap not unwilling, incapable <clears throat> to see your point of view, unfortunately. The accompanied card here is going to be the six of uh, the six of wands formation. It is a active friends and a very passionate guy or a very passionate person. First of all, I want to say from these two cards, and it is because they um, how 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 do I display it here? It is because they um, they have a very high opinion for themselves. It's simply they don't take no for an answer. That is a, a first thing. And second of all, they can't imagine anything better happening to you than them. OK, so that's that's the whole point. But um, <clears throat> There is also something else here with these two cards is that this person, uh, Knights of uh, the Knight of Swords, also wants you quite badly. I want, I mean, wants to either cooperate with you or to be with you, you know, or to be a friend with you or your approval. They, they want something from you quite badly. And you can use that in your leverage is that ultimately at the end, it seems that they will be ready to do whatever it takes in order to get it. All right. <clears throat> So you get that the way you want. They could be uh, extremely dangerous or they could be extremely subordinate as well. It does depend what kind of a situation you're finding yourself uh, at with them. But it's very important to know that this one does not kind of like I will, it does not have any remorse all right they they do believe that the results does justify the ends, whatever uh, the, the results does justify the means, whatever the means are. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be, or rather the second card is going to be the Empress, which is the challenge and it's it's like having a space to breathe, okay? That person is going to be constantly breathing in your neck, stifling you from every single direction. It's like everywhere you turn, you you, you see them, all right? You see that they are, uh, I cannot stay, say stalking you, all right? But trying to influence your opinion so the challenge here is to take a bit of detachment from the situation so you can think clearly because clearly here whatever that person wants from you should you give it all right it does require your mature decision making instead of impulsive and uh, an emotional decision making and also it's very important here to recognize that um uh, it will it it can go both ways okay that is also challenging to know it will go both ways in the sense of that either bitter or sweet at the end of the day you will have to swallow down the fruits of your labor so that's why it is important to take this um, this thing seriously all right and unfortunately i cannot say for every single one of you how it's going to turn out for some of you, um, you may end up, for example, in an abusive relationship. Others could may uh, could uh, could end up in in a very good relationship with a person who is ready to do whatever it takes to protect them and these kind of stuff. But the the thing is that for yourself, you know, you need to find that time to make your research about this person and to analyze very carefully what is going to be the outcome of you uh, saying no or of you saying yes. The accompanied card here is going to be the uh, Five of Swords formation. It is a uh, active uh, enemies that we do have. So um, with the Five of Swords to the Empress, you will just want the whole thing to go away, to be done with it, all right? And that could force you to... Um, to take a premature decision or to make a premature actions in these kind of stuff. So that's what is important here. The whole challenge, at least in my book, looking at these cards is to stay calm, you know, and take as much as you need in order to found and support your decision as a very well found one. OK, instead of making it just for the sake of that, this thing, it's, it's over. It's no different than, for example, someone wants to be with you so much. They're texting you every day. They're calling you every day, you know, twice a day or three times a day. You know, they are coming at your work and so on and so forth to a point where you say, oh, OK, OK, so let's let's try it out. All right. Let's start dating. So you leave me be. All right. That should not be the uh, the way how you make your decision. The accompany the not the accompanied but the next card it is the positive aspect of the week and we do have the nine of uh, wands. 
So extreme sense of emergency is what you're going to have or extreme, extreme sense of is there danger behind it, all right? So it doesn't look like that you're going to make um, any, how do you say it, not terrible, but catastrophic uh, moves throughout the week. And also this card points that even though you may be bruised and may, you may be tempted to make a uh, a decision or to make a move straight away just for the sake of, you know, you being let alone. Uh, this card points that you are to persevere through patience or you do have what it takes to persevere through your patience, through the patience and to make the preparations for what is to come or in this case to make your research, right? ask his ex-girlfriend, all right, uh, ask his boss or this kind of stuff. It is just make your research, uh, research what that person is, uh, is all about and uh, then you will be able to make your well-found decisions, ju decision just like, I, just like I said. Additionally to that, this card here points that uh, you can make some uh, very relative and as well very productive changes into your environment, into your daily routine, which may not be related to this person here, Knight of Swords, all right? But they're gonna make your life much more easier. The accompanied card here is going to be the King of, uh, <clears throat> the King of Cups formation. It is a uh, active, uh, active enemies that we do have. Uh, it's, it's a difficult combination, guys. Uh, now it's, um, it's more like a, a changing, changing how you feel. Okay. So, um, it's wow. It's more like, well, it's, it's, it's like realizing that it is not this person that makes you a favor, but it is you who makes the favor. Right. And at the end of the day, should you decide to give them a chance either to be your partner into your business or to take part of your search, sur social circle or to be a part of your life? Okay. They have to obey certain rules. And this week, uh, before you decide what to do here, if you decide to let them in, all right, you need to display your rules. Okay. You need to make them aware that it is you who makes them a favor and not the other way around okay it is you who who makes them win something and it is not the other way around and for that reason you know they have to oblige to a, a certain rules rules which you are establishing so that is another thing do not go into a, a cooperation with this person knight of swords unless you know you make a strict rules and stipulations of how this whole thing is going to play out moving forward into the future and the final card here it is the king of swords which is a another testament for that you can do so uh that's uh, the card points that you do have an influence you do you are well respected and there is no reason to bypass that all right and by this with an intelligently established strategies in regards to this uh, person here, Knight of Swords, and as well, you know, a, a careful analysis of the situation, you can definitely make the whole situation in between you and this person as a, a very effective, as a very effective uh, drive for yourself to expand moving forward. So the way I uh, could could give you an example of that is that this could be a, a for example, a coworker that wants to work with you so much, you know, it wants to work on your project, but you get to say, are they going to or are they not going to and they are constantly bothering you, you know, they're constantly calling you and this kind of stuff. And instead of, for example, saying no, leave me alone, maybe you may want to think about a, a way how how you can use this person for your own personal benefits okay and it's like because you are making them a favor don't don't make any mistake they're gonna win from that as well so you have to start thinking of how you're gonna win from it as well all right the accompanied card here is going to be the five of uh, cups formation it is a uh, active neutrals that we do have here and with the five of cups it does point that uh, it, it does speaks that it's going to be more as an, an addition 
rather than a I lost in this uh, in this specific case should you be willing like I said to think about it very carefully all right the whole thing throughout this week Pisces is do not rush it do not be hasty do not do any premature thing guys as a premature decision or, the, or a premature actions now that I think of you know uh, it could play out in a different way that could be your partner into your relationship who provokes you with some with something you know bruisey behavior here and instead of giving it a second thought instead of being calm instead of a, a, a kind of like letting it go for the time being and when the 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 passion kind of cools down you kind of confront this person you confront it straight away very premature and it, it becomes from an argument it escalates into a, a scandal possibly a a breakup so that's why Throughout this week, Pisces, you need to be very, very calm within your skin. You should be with a poker face, you know, and you should think two steps ahead instead of, uh, you know, acting based on the current conditions and uh, how do I say it? You know, the, the current circumstances, because these circumstances are going to change quite, quite rapidly and definitely you can't get on top of it you know should you be smart rather than hard so that being said guys this was your weekly tarot reading for july 29th to august 4 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other around until then bye